Okay, so first thing first, we'll start with manual compression. Then we'll grab the boards from the back. And then we'll pose the manual compression for a second and lift the patient from the shoulder from, the shoulder from here. And then raise one centimeter and then slide the board under the patient. The locking mechanism is ideally have to be placed between the head and the shoulder. And then you continue manual compression. Then someone will get the CPR compression machine. You turn it on from the bottom here. Okay. And then you grab a stamp. You get a long stamp and a short stamp. The long stamp is for normal adults and pediatrics, and this one is for obese patients only. All right? It's made short so that you have the maximum height from the board up, up when it's fully uh, raised. Okay. So while manual compressions are going, you will place this, the CPR compression machine away from the patient, like that, because we don't want to interrupt any uh, CPR compressions going. We'll place the device onto the lock, and then we'll shake it a bit like this. You don't have to force it. Then you'll unlock the device this way, raise the device, put it on top of the patient. This device could go 360 this way, and on this part, 180 degrees sideways. Place it on the sternum perfectly. Once you see the green light, you could go ahead with so three lights, green, yellow, red, and blue. I will explain each one of them. Green, that means it's perfectly placed. Yellow is, is fine as long as it's touching the skin. Uh, red means you cannot start. It's too deep on the patient. And blue is for ventilation, which we will see shortly. Blue is for? Blue is for ventilation. Ventilation. Yes, you will see shortly. Okay. So how to start? You lower the lock and then you start. Let me show you. So there are four boxes that you could play around with. You get the mode. Next to the mode, there is a button. So each box has a button next to it. To change the mode, you have to confirm. So 15 to 2 continuous and 30 to 2. Let's say you want to do 15 to 2, you confirm. This is the confirm button, the tick button. And you could go up and down between the modes with the arrows. The depth, you could change it without confirming. There's a plus and minus, you could go up and down, and you could go back. Uh, the rate, you could change it to without confirming. It's like the battery. People pinch in here thinking that this is a lock. So don't do that. This is the battery to remove the battery. Okay. Um, one more thing. This device is used by uh, adults and pediatrics starting from the age of eight. Do not use on younger patients. Just as per the protocol, it's starting from the age of eight. So to charge the device, you get the wire. It's magnetic, and you place it this way. You can't place it sideways. Just this way. And you can. So after each two minutes, we are counting each two minutes, you have to stop the CPR and analyze. Easy what we can do if the doctor says, stop CPR, analyzing heart rhythm, just click on the light and now analyze the rhythm. If the patients need shock, clear from patients and you can give shock to the, while the device is connected, that's normal because the device can take this. So now we are giving the shock. After we give shock to the patients, just start by pressing again the compressions. So, now, this the procedure will be repeated. After we finish from the patient, revive the patients, we will close the compressions. We will open the lock to remove the R from the patients. Remove the R from the patients, straight the R, make it fully down, close the lock, turn off the device. It will take five seconds to take off, take turn off, in case you turn it off, off by mistake. So now the device off, one hand here, fully twist and remove it from the up and we will put it in the bag as well as we remove and by sliding the board from under the patients. Thank you so much and we'll see you again.